Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel once again. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm doing a video that was requested by uh, one of my viewers. Again, I will put as I do the comment, the request here. The request is for someone that I've never heard of, the name I've never heard of, but then again, maybe a month or two ago, I'd never heard the name Lara Fabian uh, or Aurora. <laughs> Aurora. 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 <laughs> okay, I can say the name. Aurora, and I can say or, but I cannot say or Aurora together. It's just, it's not working. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't know what time it is. It's got to be. What time is it? Yeah, it's about four in the morning. I didn't know who those people were either. So uh, apparently this is another French singer. And this song, uh, again, another one of you who just wants to see me break in half. Uh, this song apparently is, was written about her father as he lay on his deathbed in the hospital. According to the person who left the comment, she is a powerful singer uh, who can be joyful and can be rock and, and has some dance hits, but that she can also be very deep and um, sad. And that's this one. That's the one they they requested because, you know, why wouldn't you want to see my heartbreak? I think it's called Last Smile. It sounds heartbreaking. It's, it sounds very sad. Let's get into it. I think I picked this one out of sort of the den of requests because I really love the way the French language sounds. I think it's beautiful. I can see it on her face, the support her fans are giving her. It means so much to feel the love of those people, to feel their, their hearts. That's beautiful. Can I invent for you a, a tomorrow that sings? It's beautiful. She's starting to crack. She's starting to break. Oh, but all that support, it feels so good. I can see her smiling. So first of all, I've got to make the surface comments. Obviously, her voice is very light. It's very airy. Um, it's it's um, almost dreamlike in this particular song. It has sort of a fantasy or a daydream feel to it, perhaps a nightmare. She's beautiful. I love her hair. I love the outfit, the whole deal of the aesthetic of the concert. And she is obviously 
uh, she's connected to these lyrics. Obviously, they mean a lot to her. Her fans are really supporting her. If I'm getting the lyrics correctly through the translations, it's it's amazing because this is an experience. Anyone who's gone through the loss of a loved one, someone very close to you, all of these things you wonder, all of these questions you have, uh, the moment when she was asking why, who's doing this to you? Who condemns you? Who, uh, who do I see? Who do I talk to? Who has the right? The moments when you're wondering in your mind, it, it's particularly if they can't speak, wondering what are they thinking? Are you afraid? Maybe you can, even if they can, but you just don't want to ask because is it really appropriate to ask? Are you afraid? Do you do you see a dark a dark space at the end of this, or do you see a light at the end of the tunnel that you can go toward a place where you can be at peace? These questions and these thoughts that we have about the people that we love, the people who are leaving us, death is a mystery, and. It's one that perhaps will never be solved. So it is perfectly natural for our minds and our bodies to go through these labyrinths of unanswerable, unknowable questions. She's doing a really good job of communicating that. I love the moment when she thanked her audience because it's obvious they know what's going on. It's obvious they know what the song is about. And it's obvious that they love her and support her. She is breaking. She's struggling to hold it together. There's not really a whole lot to say about that one. It was a beautiful introduction to a new artist. It was a beautiful introduction to her music. Um, it was beautifully sung. There's not a whole lot to say. It's a song I'm going to be stuck in for a little while. So forgive me. Thank you to the person who suggested it. This isn't very high energy uh, um, wrap up or commentary here at the end. I know that. I'm sorry for that. If that's disappointing, it just doesn't feel appropriate. It was just a nice moment between her and her fans, a nice moment for her to express something that had been on her heart and uh, that her fans were gracious and accommodating uh, and loving. And it was just a beautiful moment to watch. Thank you so much for suggesting it. Again, uh, if you've made it this far, thank you for coming along this journey with me. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click the little bell icon to get notified the next time I upload a video. Hit the like button and leave me a comment down below to suggest any any music that you might want me to check out. Also, I do have a Patreon now. There's going to be a ton of stuff going on over there, even more than just music reactions. Come on over and give it a look. Sign up. Shoot me a message and we can talk uh, personally one-on-one. -on -one. It'd, be, it'd be good to get to know some of you. And as always, be kind to each other. And most importantly, be kind to yourself. <laughs>